In video and Pick3 AI are the two most popular tools when it comes to creating faceless videos with AI. And whereas back in the day making videos could be hard and complicated, these days all you need to do is tell an AI what to create. Think of this like ChatGPT but then for videos. Now the two channels up on the screen can easily be replicated with prompt video tools. And just so you know, they get millions of views per month. But what if you can only buy one subscription? Which is better, InVideo or Pic3? Over the last few months, I have tested out both tools extensively and today I'll be comparing them based on the following points. First of all, the ease of use. How easy is it to create videos? Then the time it takes to create one video, the quality of the video based on stock footage, voiceover and video editing, as well as the price per video. Starting off with InVideo AI. InVideo AI is prompt to video, meaning all we need to do is tell it what to create. We can then click generate video and our video will be done. And if you want to try this yourself for free, by the way, I'll leave my link in the description down below, which allows you to sign up for free so that you can test this prompt to video AI. In order to do that, you do need a prompt. This right there is an example of a prompt. So this took about one minute to prepare. Can you make a video about things to do in Amsterdam as a tourist? Please include things to visit, hotels to stay at, foods to eat, and general information that's good to know if you're going to Amsterdam and make this an eight minute video. Then what we can do is select a workflow so we can turn this into a YouTube short, a YouTube explainer video, recent events video, or potentially if we already have a script done, we can do script the video. However, I like the fact that we can turn a simple prompt like this into a full video. So we're going to stick to that. Now, once you select that workflow, you can choose how long the video should be. So in my prompt, I set eight minutes. So here you can also choose, you cannot choose eight minutes specifically. So we'll go with 10 minutes here. You can once again, enter your prompt and you can also add additional instructions. Same goes for here, optional creative directions. So for example, you can tell the AI to make a joke in the intro, just like this. You can then choose your background music. I'll go with upbeat for this one. You can then choose the voiceover settings. I'll go with a male voiceover as well as you can choose the accent. That is pretty cool to see. Let's go with a clear American voice. You can choose if you want to add subtitles and let's actually do that. So let's do word by word subtitles where the current spoken word is in yellow. You may add a watermark if you like. For example, my channel is called travel on time. I may add that as the watermark. And then you can click on continue. Next up, click on generate a video. This took me about four minutes. And as of right now, it is creating our video. While InVideo AI is preparing our video, let's take a look at Pic3 AI. Pic3 AI is a little bit different, as in they don't have prompt to video, meaning I cannot put this and create a full video out of a prompt. Instead, they've got script to video AI, which you can find right here. In order to start with that, you want to click on proceed. And then right here, you need to enter your script. So I have prepared this script right here, also about things to do in Amsterdam to make it an equal comparison, which I'm going to copy and then paste into Pic3 AI. So that is a major difference between the two. In video AI is prompt to video that it's now generating and Pic3 AI is only script to video. Once you have pasted in your script, you want to click on proceed, which it will then ask you to choose a template. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of templates available. Now, I like to keep it clean. So I always go with captions yellow. Click right there, choose your aspect ratio. And there you go. Just like our video is now being prepared on InVideo AI, the same goes for Pic3 AI. The major difference between the two being that InVideo AI is creating our whole video from just one prompt entirely from scratch. So we don't need to lift a finger to create the script, choose the voiceover or anything like that. Whereas with Pic3 AI, we do need to provide them with a full script in order to create the video. This is what InVideo AI created just from our prompt alone. Why don't they play hide and seek in Amsterdam? Because no matter where you hide, someone's always in the Dutch. Welcome to our guide on exploring Amsterdam as a tourist. Ah, uh, Amsterdam. This city is like a beautiful painting that has come to life with its quaint houses lined along the picturesque canals and the vibrant tulips adding splashes of colors to the city's palette. And that's what the default version looks like on InVideo AI. Now, as you might have noticed, it did indeed tell a joke in the intro. So that is pretty cool to see as we gave that as a prompt. Apart from that, I do really like the subtitles. They look great as well as the B-roll is high quality. Let's now take a look at what the default video looks like on Pic3 AI.
All right, so right at the bat, I can stop that right there. What you might notice is that the voiceover is missing. Reason for this is because on Pick3 AI, you cannot give it a prompt and tell it to use a voiceover. So instead, we need to go to audio, and then we do need to go to voiceover, and this is where we can add them ourselves. Now recently, Pick3 AI has integrated 11 laps, which is the best voiceover in the game as of right now, which means that the voiceovers on Pick3 AI will be of good quality. This is what it now looks like. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial, and a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades. We're about to reveal all the secrets of this captivating city. Did you know that in Amsterdam, there's a bike parking garage that can hold up to 12 PLB 500 bicycles? Let's now take a look at customizing the video that I created. On InVideo AI, there are two ways to do that. One of them is clicking on edit and then simply editing this out yourself. So for example, if you wanna change one of the clips in the video, you can select it, then you can search right here. Then you can search for B-roll, for example, just typing in Amsterdam. You can then scroll down and the media will show up right here that you can replace it with. Let's say I want to add this clip right here. I can click replace, apply changes, and that will then be added to the video. Instead of changing clips, you may also edit the script by clicking right here and then adjusting anything you'd like by simply selecting that part and then typing in whatever it is that you want to change it to. So that is also very, very simple to do. Additionally, you may also give it a prompt to edit something which is revolutionary because this means you don't need to do any of the editing yourself. You can simply tell it what to do. For example, if I want to change the voiceover to a female voiceover, all I need to do is tell it to change the voiceover to a native American female voice, click generate, and it will now change the voiceover to a female. Why don't they play hide and seek in Amsterdam? Because no matter where you hide, someone's always in the Dutch. And there you go. That's as simple as it gets. Let's now customize our video on Pick3 AI. In order to do that, what we can do is simply select which scene we want to adjust and then change the clip. So for example here, they're talking about a club that's called Ajax. However, in this video, they show a different club, which means by default, they did not show the right video, which means in order to change it, we want to click on visuals after selecting the scene. And then we can also search for B-roll that matches the script. In this case, Ajax. I'll search for it and then see what I find. So all of these clips show up. This one is very relevant. So I may click on this and then automatically that will be inserted right here. What you might notice as well is that sometimes the text shows up quite big on the screen as right here, there's three lines of text. If you wanna customize that, you can simply select it, click on the sizing right here and then make that smaller so that it goes to two lines. So in terms of customizing the text, all you need to do is simply select that. You can also change the font as well as make it bold. Um, you can make it italic. You can basically do whatever it is that you need, such as changing colors, sizing, as well as the placement of the text. Basically set anything you might need from a tool like this. Additionally, on Pick3 AI, you can also add background music as well as upload your own files in case you'd like. Now, whereas on NVIDIA AI, you can simply tell it what to do and then customize your entire video and you're done. On Pick3 AI, you would need to go scene by scene and change all of the clips yourself. What you can also do if there's way too much text up on the screen is simply split the scene. The way you do that is by selecting the part where you wanna split it, for example, right here, and then click split scene right there. You may then change the sizing once again to make it show up in a much better way. However, as you can see, sometimes that may still be quite a hassle. So far, in terms of creating a video, NVIDIA AI made it a little bit easier, simply because you can tell it what to change and it will do so. Whereas on Pick3 AI, I feel it's a bit more of a hassle to get everything changed and look nicely. Part number two, quality of the video. Let's compare stock footage, voiceover, and the editing itself. InVideo works with iStock and Pictor uses Storyblocks. Now, both of them have over a million clips available for you to use, as well as the quality is pretty much the same. So in terms of B-roll, both get a five out of five score. Now let's take a look at the voiceover. Both have very high quality voiceovers. Pick3 has recently collabed with 11 Labs, which upgraded their voiceover game by a lot as the previous ones were horrible. Those were the classic robot sounding voices that no one likes to listen to. And NVIDIA AI had good voiceovers from the beginning. The only difference between the two is that on NVIDIA AI, you can only tell it what kind of voice that it should use and you cannot select one yourself. Whereas on Pick3 AI, you can manually select a voiceover 
that you like to use for your project. However, still, both of them have high quality voiceovers, which will also both be scored at five out of five. Then taking a look at the editing, InVideo AI has automatically added effects like transitions, film burns, particle overlay, text overlays, and music. For Pic3 AI, you would have to do this manually. However, there's no transition available that gives it a premium kind of feeling. To me, NVIDIA AI is a little bit better, getting a 4.5 out of 5 score, leaving Pic3 behind with just a 4 out of 5. The reason I still give Pic3 a 4 is because it's still very easy to use, even if you've never edited a video before. Part number 3, pricing. For the sake of this video, I'll take a look at the yearly plan pricing. For InVideo AI, that comes down to $48 per month. And with that plan, you can create up to 200 minutes of videos with the AI tool. Now let's say that the average video is five minutes. That means that you pay $1.2 per video. Comparing that to Pic3 AI, their yearly plan is $39 per month. Now, if you max out Pic3 in terms of video creation, your price per video will end up at 65 cents, which means that in video AI per video is a little bit more expensive. However, you also get more. Before we get into part number four, which is the final scores for both tools on all the aspects first of all let's show you a finished video with both tools why don't they play hide and seek in amsterdam because no matter where you hide someone's always in the dutch welcome to our guide on exploring amsterdam as a tourist ah amsterdam this city is like a beautiful painting that has come to life with its quaint houses lined along the picturesque canals and the vibrant tulips adding splashes of colors to the city's palette. Did you know that Amsterdam has more canals than Venice? A red light district that's both fascinating and controversial, and a football club that's been dominating the Dutch league for decades? We're about to reveal all the secrets of this captivating city. Did you know that in Amsterdam, there's a bike parking garage that can hold up to 12,500 bicycles? It's called the Fiets Flat, and it's the largest bike parking facility in the world. Which brings me to part four, the final verdict. Let's compare all points on the table. So in terms of ease of use, NVIDIA AI scores a 4.5 out of five, Pictory just a three out of five, simply because you still need to make the script yourself put it into the tool and then start changing your scenes. Whereas on InVideo, you can simply tell it what to create and it will do so. Then let's take a look at the time it takes to create one video. On InVideo AI, it takes about five up to 20 minutes. Five minutes being the default version, 20 minutes being the customized and edit version. On Pic3 AI, it can take you all the way up to an hour to create one video, simply because you have to change all of the scenes manually, which can easily add up. Taking a look at the stock footage quality, both of them already scored a five out of five, and the same goes for the voiceover quality. For editing, in video AI performed a little bit better, 4.5 out of 5, leaving Pic3 behind with a 4 out of 5 score. For the price per video, in video AI ends up at $1.20, whereas Pic3 AI ends up being only 65 cents per video. However, keep in mind that that does not come with the better features. Which leads me to the main question, which is the better tool? As of right now, if you're looking to create fast, faceless videos, with just one prompt, as well as you can simply tell an AI what to create or change, InVideo AI is the clear winner and there's no doubt about it. However, if you're interested in creating faceless videos by just delivering a script, Pictory is a solid backup. So with that being said, if you do want to give InVideo AI a chance yourself, I will leave my link in the description down below, which allows you to sign up for InVideo AI completely free so that you can test it and see if you like it for yourself. With that being said, leave a like on the video and click on the screen right here to find out how you can create a full faceless YouTube video that can perform really, really well with just one prompt using InVideo AI. I'll see you there.